Hi guys, Namaste. Yeah, I am Mansi. Uh, today, let me start the topic. The topic is related to the English error spotting. If you like my video, so please subscribe my channel. Okay, so now let me start it. See, error spotting is the most important part when you come across the banking examination or it might be an SSC exams. Okay, so almost in your government examination, it will be the most important part. So first, let me go with the first question so you'll understand that what actually I wanted to communicate with you. See, let me read the question. After that, I'll tell you that what I wanted to do here. Multiple challenges faced by the sector, which includes the absence of formalization, stilted access to the credit, delayed payments, and infrastructural bottlenecks must be resolved. You can see the sentence is divided almost to the five parts. The fifth part is no error. So I want to identify that in which part of the sentence the error is there. Okay. So first, let me come across. Say, I wanted to tell you the first thing. Um, see, almost uh, we think that uh, error means it will be almost uh, that is with uh, parts of speech. But I'll not tell you that always, always the error that will be with the parts of speech only. Okay. Sometimes you can see error that is uh, related to the spelling mistake. Okay. So this question is related to the spelling. First, let me go for the first part. What your first part is telling? Multiple challenges it is faced by the sector. There is no spelling mistake. Next thing, which includes the absence of formalization? No, there is no spelling mistake. Next thing, still third access to the credit delayed payments? No, there is no spelling mistake. Fourth one, infrastructural bottled neck necks must be resolved. Means they have used here bottled necks. See, whenever we use this word, okay, how we use, no, we use bottlenecks. Even our pronunciation will tell bottlenecks. Our pronunciation will never tell bottled necks. So this is the part where you have an error that is in your span. Okay, so I hope that this you understood. So let me go for the next question. Demand usually picks up in the second half of the year due to the wedding season. Yes, during the wedding season, um, yeah, related to that thing, seriously, the demand will pick up. See, we have used demand here. Demand is a noun. Then we have used picks up. Okay, I'm speaking about the parts of speech now. Picks up is a verb. Okay, before that, I've used here one uh, usual, which is going to describe this adverb. Yes, means it's adverb. Which adverb is what? It usually describes the verb. Yes, right. See, adverb, I'll tell you. I'll not tell all the words. Most of the words is going to end with L-Y. If you just use usual, it will become like a one normal adjective type or uh, the normal thing, but it's not an adverb. If I tell instead of usual, let me tell it's usually. The demand usually picks up. It's correct. Because it is going to describe the verb adverb so demand usually picks up in the second half of the year due to the wedding season sentence is right now let me go for the next question parties will counsel to advise new entrants to refrain from acting okay let me find out see i'll tell you the second part i have used advice now i'll tell you I have it two words one is advice other one is advice so what is the difference between these two words? <laughs> See, let me tell you if this way we use with noun because it describes the noun. And this is the one which is going to describe the verb. With the two, I want to use verb. I should not use the noun. Then seriously, this will be changed to advice. Okay, so you saw that there is also like this type of also the mistakes will be there. Okay. Not only with parts of speech and also the, with the spellings, but also there is a um, position where actually instead of the noun verb is placed or instead of the verb, the noun is placed. Okay. This type of problem also will be occurred. Now, let me go for the next question. With the temperature that is in northern Spain and southern France, set of exceed 44C, government urged that citizens to take up the utmost precautions, warning that in some areas that worst was yet to come. Okay. Let me tell you, they have used a set of, sorry, there was a mistake. 
yeah they have used a set of okay see if i come with uh, yeah they have used a set of okay if i come with set of see actually we will not use a set of okay instead of that uh, we will use set two okay we will use set two i'll tell you what's the difference between uh, set of and set two see set two means what no you are trying to start something if you are trying to start something then we use set two means with that is with a josh set of doesn't mean of starting something you are trying to close it off so this is the difference between two words then i can't use set of i should use set two okay so the error that is in the part b fine so now let me go with the next question the indian monsoon has been progressing slow with the rainfall 37% below the average since the start of the season that is on the june 1st let me tell you we have here as b it is indicating the tense and it is indicating the present tense okay in present it is a present perfect continuous tense it is indicating so has been with that i need one verb that is what it is progressing okay fine with that they have used slow means okay it has been progressing how it is progressing it is slow okay see so, means it is indicating the adverb yes it is describing the verb then see yes it should indicate adverb adverb means i already told you that it should end with ly but you can see here is it ending with ly no let me add ly i have already added now you read the sentence the indian monsoon has been progressing slowly with the rainfall 37% below the average since the start of the season that is on june 1st okay so now the sentence the part of the error that is in the part b okay so i think you understood this okay this is related to the part of speech the error was there so i hope you understood all the questions that i taught you here okay if you have any doubts if you need anything related to the package you can seriously mail us that is what trainers expert at the rate gmail.com okay i hope that seriously that uh, the video was really helpful for you okay thank you for watching